uh, to give you the the big picture um, uh, of our view over the short term which we consider to be roughly about three months um, we think that the initial downturn the first underestimation by the market has really occurred uh, this was when actually COVID-19 was actually spreading in China um, a lot of people outside of China was either saying it's not going to go out of China we are safe um, and even if it does it's very much like SARS um, and therefore um, it's going to have very limited impact um, from what we saw back then was um, the total opposite we expected it to spread out of China and also in a manner not like SARS but more like H1N1 or even the seasonal influenza um, and that told us that the spread would be quite uh, extensive and when we saw markets going higher despite this fact um, straight away we knew that the market had underestimated uh, this COVID-19 uh, risk um, uh, and that's why um, I think uh, two weeks ago the markets actually adjusted and quite sharply to these facts. Today we are in a situation where we call it intervention. Uh, we see uh, Federal Reserve, Bank Nagara, Australian Central Bank, central banks across the world cutting rates um, and governments uh, coming up with fiscal packages, um, the US, even the WHO. Uh, to try and mitigate the impact from COVID-19. Uh, so this has given markets some, some comfort and that's why, that's why we see markets actually recovering and bouncing off um, the recent lows. However, going ahead, uh, we think that the market continues to underestimate um, the risks from COVID-19 and that's what we're going to talk about in the next few slides. Um, so therefore, we think that there is still another down leg uh, in equity markets. Uh, which will take us lower uh, in the next couple of weeks or even months um, until we reach a stabilization point. Uh, post COVID-19, um, don't get me wrong, COVID-19 will end. Um, but what we fear is that it may just be the first domino uh, which could then topple other dominoes. Given the fact that the markets have been going up for the past 10 years, we were or we are at the so-called end of the cycle, both in terms of the investment cycle and economic cycle. Um, so I won't be surprised if COVID-19 is that first domino which topples many other dominoes, um, but this won't be covered during this session. We'll cover that in another session.